So political violence in the U.S. is said to be at its worst since the 1970s. When we look at recent events, statistics, and current political tensions, we can see this picture much more clearly. In a January 2022 survey, a percentage of 34% of surveyed Americans openly condoned violence against the government. Just seven months later, more than 40% said that they believe civil war is somewhat likely in the next 10 years. A second civil war was a long time fringe idea, but now political scientists as well as leading experts on civil wars are sounding the alarm. Hell, we even got billionaires like Bill Gates warning of the possibility and even the Heritage Foundation, which we'll do a video on them another day, has a video discussing a cold civil war. It's no longer just a fringe idea that's discussed among doomsday preppers or a group of friends sharing a joint. It's something that's now talked about in the mainstream media. Hell, it's something that occasionally trends on Twitter with Trump supporters threatening civil war in the event that Trump goes to prison. If Donald Trump were to be found guilty by a jury, <laughs> where, where, where do you see this going? Uh, civil war, because we can't live together, obviously. You know, what's gonna happen to this country? Someone's gonna get so pissed off they're gonna shoot someone. That's what's gonna happen. Or we're gonna have a civil war or some sort of revolution. That, that's where this, is, where this is going. A new study from Reuters out this week finds that there have been 213 cases of political violence since January the 6th, 2021, in which at least 39, 39 people, people have been, have been killed. killed. Quote, at this point, we're living under a corporate and medical fascism. This is tyranny. When do we get to use the guns? No, and I'm, and, I, and I'm not, that's not a joke. I'm not saying it like that. I mean, literally, where's the line? How many elections are they going to steal before we kill these people? So if you don't believe what the rest of the world is with all love and respect to you, you need a different job. One recent study from Professor Robert Pape at the University of Chicago found that from April the 6th, 2023 to June 26, 2023, Americans agreeing that the use of force is justified to restore Donald Trump to the presidency increased from 4.5% to 7% or the equivalent of an estimated shift from 12, 12 million, million to 18, to 18 million, million American, American adults. Adult. Bring in a potential possibility to something that could turn into reality in our near future. In 2012, the CIA declassified an insurgency report, which outlines the signs of a country that's headed in the direction of a civil war. Currently, the US has several of what's called threat multipliers. The first one being environmental crises, which, which we've been seeing numerous historical weather events, economic inequality being at its highest since the country's foundation, and demographic change. Well, America also has almost two of the most dangerous risk factors and neither of those have diminished since January 6th. The first being ethnic nationalism, which happens when citizens of a country organize themselves into political parties based on ethnic, religious, or racial identity rather than ideology. So rather than someone being just conservative or liberal, it's more so identity politics. The second is anocracy, which is just an extra way of saying a flawed democracy in which a government is neither fully democratic nor autocratic, but somewhere in between. Sometime between this late December 2020 and early 2021, the United States was formally recognized as an anocracy. Anocracy plus ethnic factionalism is an explosively dangerous mix. Groups who tend to start these civil wars are those who had once been politically dominant but are losing power. This comes from the loss of political status, which feeds a sense of resentment that they are being replaced and the identity of the country is no longer theirs. We see this with the modern Republican Party and their base of white Christian voters losing the long-held dominant position in U.S. politics and society. Great replacement propaganda does nothing more than fuel this problem. We see this with incidents such as the Buffalo shooting. And as the U.S. becomes more multi-ethnic by 2024, the white population of the U.S. will no longer be a majority. What exactly would a second civil war look like? Being that political violence in the U.S. is more sporadic and tends to happen at centralized locations that target specific groups this definitely would not be north versus south or dems versus republicans we'll first have to look at the troubles of the late 1900s in north ireland from the late 1960s to 1998 an ethno-nationalist conflict between the Catholic Irish Republican Army and the Protestant Ulster Volunteer Force plagued North Ireland with terror attacks, assassinations. So far, 178 soldiers have died in Northern Ireland, 
more than died in Aden or Kenya or Cyprus. Are you aware that basically the army isn't wanted here? Yeah, we're aware of it, yeah. But I mean, who am I to say, right, pull the army out? I mean, it's not my job to say that. I'm over here. I've been told to be here and I get good money for being here and that's it. I mean, not here in any biased situation. I mean, I'm not for the Catholics and I'm not for the Protestants. Green t-shirt, yeah. Chris Lutz, 16 years old, and he's got an armor like. from carrying out mass shootings of Catholic civilians to bombing cars and pubs. A second civil war in the US would look much more akin to the troubles rather than a split of North versus South, West versus East, or Red States versus Blue States. It would look more like a guerrilla war fought by multiple small factions and militias. We would see political assassinations as well as numerous attempts at such, synagogue and black church bombings, saboteurs destroying critical infrastructure, which has already happened in a way with power stations coming under attack from neo far right neo-Nazi groups. Some of these things are already happening, just not as worse in a way that, as they could. Personally, I believe that in 2024, we will see political violence in the US reach a point that many of us have never witnessed in our lifetimes. And as much as I hope that I'm wrong, the writing appears to be crystal, crystal clear on the wall that we could see the beginning stages of the troubles in the U.S. after the 2024 election cycle, or maybe even before. I don't encourage anyone that's watching to live in a state of fear, but rather live with awareness. Take a look at these two cities. On the left is Aleppo, located in Syria, and on the right is Kiev, located in Ukraine. Here's some pictures that can show how quickly life can change. Life can change pretty unexpectedly, especially in a way that you would have never imagined. Citizens of Aleppo and Kiev all went about their daily lives without knowledge that life as they knew it would be changed forever. So what are your thoughts? Do you agree that the US in 2024 will see more political violence? The way things are happening in the US right now, the Trump indictment, the Dobbs decision, the current state of the economy in the US, because even though the media the news media says that the economy is healthy and flourishing you've got like i think a record number of credit card debt suicide rates have been going up it really just isn't a sign of a healthy economy civil wars they never have one root cause civil wars are always a snowball effect as i pointed out in earlier in the video economic inequality being at its highest level since this country's foundation is a threat multiplier for civil war. I definitely see a massive uptick in political violence in the US coming in 2024, especially the closer it gets to the actual election, especially when the Trump trial starts. I believe they're aiming for a date in January or March for the Trump trial. And especially when that starts, it's only up from here. Again, I don't encourage anyone to live in fear. After watching this video, live with awareness. Live with awareness and know what could possibly happen. Life as you know it can change forever. Writing appears to be crystal clear on the wall, and uh, I would hate to, I would hate to be right about this. I really would. Hit the thumbs up if you did like this video. It really helps out in the algorithm. Subscribe as well if you want to see more content from me, and I will be seeing y'all in the next video. Deuces. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>